Welcome back everybody. Here I'm just going to the Notepad++ and just creating another page. Okay, and in this page what I'm just going to do, actually I'm just creating a new folder named Includes. Uh, I was just adding the include slash tb.php by the way. Now inside the includes dot includes folder, I'm just creating the db.php and press enter. Okay. I got the page inside the CMS and inside the includes folder, the db.php. So I'm just deleting this S and I'm just creating the PHP code. Okay, perfect. Now inside this simple space, I'm just going to add some things like the server, what is the name of the server you know, and the username all the things and then the password and then what is after that the DB okay equal to actually this is the perfect way I should put these things as well okay now actually I I just forgotten all the things but I just remembered the l server name the local which is the local host actually okay and the password and the db is the cms system save that go to the browser and just check this out that i'm perfect yeah that is right now going to the cms system and going a little back and here where is the yeah this is the old include folder so i'm just opening this in the edit not edit.php sorry uh, notepad.php and this is the db.php the username is John which we just created for this whole course and the password is monkey so close that the username is John and the password is monkey you must have this username and password already in your MySQL if I just go to the uh, server and I, if I just click on the users and there is the um, John and it has a password which is the monkey so right now I'm just opening the includes oh before that we have to create the connection create the co double n variable and let's just type m y s q l i connect okay this is the function which actually connects us to the database and then the you know the server comma the username okay the comma another comma and the password password and then the db okay save that now just go to the browser to check that you've got something wrong or no so press and enter now object not found just why just because I have to add the include slash db.php now I got no error that means everything is perfect here okay so I'm just going to include this file to the post.php at the top okay so here I'm just opening the notepad uh, sorry the db.php so and I'm just including that in the first line no problem include and this is the function name and this is the file name include slash db.php save that go to the browser and go back a little refresh that I'm getting no error that means everything is perfect so now what I'm just going to do is actually um, this is a post.php I'm just copying this actually at this time I'm just working I'm just thinking to work in the index.php so I'm just pasting the same includes.php in the index.php let's just refresh that again and I'm getting no error that means everything is fine so I'm going inside the PHP uh, which I just opened in this section area and simply creating or actually adding the SQL okay simple selection SQL and equals to and here I'm just adding the query select all from the oh, not the actually this is the English word I just added last time and I got the error if you remember by the way so here I just have to mention the table name which is the posts I just already connected the database so now just run SQL and equals to MYSQLI QUERY and everything is fine now simply call the connection and the dollar SEL SQL and save that now run the while function why the while function just because I just want to run the